G'day and welcome to Dave's Model Workshop. Well, today I've got some good news and some bad news about airbrushes. So the good news, well, let's go. With, let's start with the bad news. The bad news is um, a couple of weeks ago I did a video all about airbrushing and what you would get if you, what you would look for if you were to upgrade from a really basic airbrush. And this is my really basic airbrush. It's a Sparmax DH103, and Please excuse how grubby it is, it's really dirty, it needs a good clean. The reason it's not clean is that the last time I was using it, I managed to s totally shear off the thread on the nozzle. So, in the video that I did recently, I said to you guys, this is great, great airbrush, wonderful, perfect, never given me a spot of bother in 10 years. Literally three weeks later, this happened. <laughs> So yeah, um, the little tiny nozzle broke, and that was when I was starting to clean it. You can probably see there's still a fair bit of gunk in there. You might not be able to. The light's not the greatest there. Fair bit of gunk in there. It's starting to clean, but then, ah, yeah, taking it off, and it just completely sheared off. I hope you can see that. Completely sheared off the thread on the nozzle. So inside the housing is still the thread of the nozzle and I'm buggered if I know how to do that, how to get that back. I think I'm going to have to use a drill and just try and drill it out and I think that's potentially going to stuff up the thread on the inside of this. It just... it's not good. Uh, so if you've got any suggestions, please let me know below because I've got my replacement Sparmax nozzle. Uh, it's a 0.3 millimeter, and cost me all 25 bucks, which is a bit painful when the whole thing plus compressor only cost about 100 bucks. Admittedly, 10 years ago, so I can't complain that it hasn't given me good service. It's just Murphy's law that the moment I say it's brilliant and never gives you problems, it gives you problems. Um, so that's. Yeah, that's the, the bad airbrush news at the moment. So let's move on to the good airbrush news. And before we do, yeah, like I said, if you've got any suggestions other than getting a drill bit, and seriously, that's my plan. Drill down, hopefully it catches in there and I can somehow pull it out or you know, twist it out, hopefully, along with the thread. If you've got any better suggestions, I'm all ears. I'll hold off for a couple of days until I do that, guys. So if you've got any good ideas, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to bolt it up. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to, speaking of ballsing it up, <laughs> Jesus. oh boy, it's all going well today. So, let's move on to the good news for airbrushes. So the good news is that I am loving, loving, loving my new airbrush, which is the Mr. Hobby Platinum .2 PS270. It's this bad boy here great. got this from Spray Gunner a little while back. Spraygunner.com. Um, they're one of the supporters of the Members Brigade, the, um, the Mod Squad. If you haven't already joined, please consider it. You get 10% off at a whole range of hobby discounters. It's really good. I'll put a link here. Anyway, this is a great airbrush and I'm loving using it. It's just, <sighs> compared to the old one, it's chalk and cheese, and I guess, you know, you can't compare a 10-year-old cheapie with this, but for the money, this is like 100 bucks. for the money, this is a winner. Um, I have been using it a lot on my new build. I will go into full detail very soon, but yeah, this is it. But today, I want to show you how good it is. I'm going to put a little bit of graffiti just around here. Um, I am no expert on graffiti. So I have taken a photo, let me show you that, of a piece of graffiti I saw nearby, and I quite like the juice. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to try and replicate that. So it's going to go about here on the brickwork, and it needs to be pretty fine, and this is up for the job. I'm, I'm loving this. Like, my old one would have struggled a bit with this, so... I'm loving this. Anyway, fill it with paint, I'll do the airbrushing, and then I'll chat to you about it while I'm doing it. Hope the compressor's not too noisy while we're doing this. 
It's been alright. Juice, here we go. Let's get you back. Maybe get a little closer here so you can actually see. Alright. So what I've done is I've used the cool little valve on the bottom, which I love, to really dial it back. Actually, I'm just going to do this properly and not talk while I do it. There we go. Juice. Right, I'm going to go over it a little bit more and then come back. So one of the things that's brilliant about this airbrush is it's so easy to clean. The uh, instructions recommend, this is just mineral terps, the instructions recommend the blowback method. So I'm just taking off the very tip of the cap there. You can see the needle. I'm pulling that back and then I'm going to start some air coming through and do the blowback. Get that great bubbling and just spraying it off to the side here. <laughs> Glass all the way. Yeah, it's just really, really easy to clean. I mean, that's not all. That The instructions recommend that's all you need to do. That's not all you need to do. But I haven't had to fully strip this once in using it for um, four weeks now. It's great. This is boring, so I'll come back well, to it. While I'm doing this, I will show you how much control this little valve gives you. How cool is that? Hardly any heaps. That's brilliant. So, taking the needle out, obviously taking the back off, taking the needle out, put a little bit more terps in the cup. Spray that out. And we're done. It's clean. I'm happy. It may not look clean, but it's clean. Easy. Yeah, so there's no there's no farting about in you know removing the nozzle or anything like that. Just being careful to not do anything to damage that needle. Actually this is the first time I've taken I'll show you on camera. This is the first time I've taken the air head off. And so I'm not mucking about taking out that nozzle, which I think is the reason that I've broken my last one, because I had to do that every single time. So that is really good. I love this. Really, really rate it. Pull that needle back before I put this back on. I mean, the seals feel a lot better too, compared to the old one. A hell of a lot better. Yeah, it's just a pleasure. And this air valve duty thing, I think it's called a Mac or something, it's really, really handy. Love it. Um, the other stuff I've been... So I've been looking into this a little bit, because I'm so happy with it. And the other stuff I've read is that um, you can adjust, uh, you can interchange the needles. Sorry, there's a plane going overhead. So this is a 0.2 needle, but you can put a 0.3 needle in. You need a kit to convert the needle and the head and the nozzle inside. But still, that's pretty good that the whole body, you know, you can have two separate airbrushes, basically for the price of one. That's really good too. Um, what else? Really, really easy cleaning, the little valve. It's just good stuff. I really, really rate it, and it saved my ass this week. <laughs> um, I'm also going to show you a bit of a sneak preview of what I've been building. So, yeah, I'll show you that now. Here's the finalised graffiti. It's not the best but it'll do. I'm terrible at graffiti. I, I've never done graffiti and I don't know how it's done. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I don't have that fluidity of movement of, you know, having practiced it a million times. A um, couple other bits of graffiti on this. So there's a few pieces here on the door. And I had to practice all of those as well. Very happy with the door lock. And there's a couple of other little pieces of graffiti just there on the drain pipe. So shall I show you what I've been building? That's the building. Let me turn off this. It's called the Switch House. And it's based on an actual building here in Seddon, in the inner west of Melbourne. few fallen leaves and yeah I'm happy with it that's my second building artwork completed anyway enough about that today today it's about the airbrushes so yeah one good one great and one not so great Still don't know what the hell to do about the end there. Yeah. Please, help me. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there today. And I hope you're all airbrushing happily. And I'll chat to you next time on Dave's Model Workshop. See ya.